So uh, today is my film screening, Sri Arvindo, The Beginning of a Spiritual Journey at uh, India International Center. And this film is based on uh, the prison life of Sri Arvindo Ghosh. So he was in prison for a year, 1908 to 1909. So these 38-39 films actually based on this prison life. Thank you so much. This film is a very important film uh, because Sri Aurobindo is a figure that we all know about. But this film tells you a very different chapter in Sri Aurobindo's life. We all know saintly figure that he is. But this is the journey of him becoming into that saint. So we talk about his early years as a freedom fighter, as a revolutionary and in British parlance the dreaded terrorist. And it's about the trial that he had to undergo. In, uh, and how he actually got in touch with the idea of spirituality. He became, uh, you know, a devotee of Lord Krishna. He discovered that sense of spirituality in that time that he was in the jail. So I think the film beautifully captures the period and it really transcends us to what it's like to undergo this difficult sort of a phase, trauma, but at the same time, how to discover your inner spirituality. So I really encourage you all to watch this film and really uh, savor the brilliance of you know this amazing journey that the film takes you on. श्री अरविंद के व्यक्तित्व में योगी कवि और दार्शनिक तीनों का समन्वय था उस महान आत्मा को दूसरों की अभिव्यक्ति के माध्यम से जानना या व्यक्त करना मुमकिन नहीं है इसलिए इस फिल्म में हमने उनके कारावास जीवन के अनुभवों का वास्तविक सारांश उनकी आत्मवाद के साथ नाट्य रूपांतरण के रूप में दर्शाया है हमने उन्हीं तथ्यों को फिल्म में शामिल किया है जिनका उल्लेख श्री अरविंद ने स्वयं किया है अर्थात उनके द्वारा स्वयं के कारावास जीवन का जो कुछ वृत्तांत किया गया है उसे वैसा ही रखा गया है उस काल तथा घटनाक्रम को जीवंत करने का हमारा प्रयास मौलिक एवं तर्कसंगत है As I promised in the beginning that we'll have a Q&A because we have the director producer with us, uh, Mr. Suraj Kumar. So if you have any questions for him about the making of the film, the larger vision behind the film, the challenges that he had to face and why he chose to shoot the film, say, in black and white, now is the time. But some of the part, you know, because it was a lengthy speech, you know. So, but uh, we were confined to have a short film. So that part we could not, you know, the, the religion thing, that we could not include. So that is there, yes, it's in the product. Is it safe, uh, like the Sanatana Dharma we are talking about now? So, I mean, uh, I will be very much confined to my, you know, this thing. <laughs> so Sanatana Dharma, yes. Yes, yes, yes please, please. Uh, my name is Ramesh Mishlani. I'm from Sri Aurobindo Ashram Delhi branch. Uh, Sri Aurobindo has used the words Sanatan Dharma, Hinduism, and the religion of India synonymously at many places. Uh, but uh, just to give a brief answer, I think what would clinch the point is that uh, at some place he also said there are two types of Hinduism. It means that there are two also, but there is used the word Hinduism. There are two types of Hinduism. The one which is rooted in Vedanta which is older and uh, 
will endure longer. The other is the Hinduism rooted in uh, Vedic rituals and ceremonies. And uh, now you can take your pick which is the Hinduism or Sanatana Dharma we are talking about today. I have chosen to stay in Bondhiri, Bhutan and France. Because in this film you have shown that he was being pardoned by the British. But France was the enemy of British. So what would be the reason for his choosing France and ultimately meeting Mother? So, as per my research, you know, like oh, after releasing from the jail, uh, jail mm -hmm. so Britishers uh, trying to implicate him in some other cases, you know, I think uh, once or twice they tried. Oh, yeah. But he has uh, from, you know, after releasing, he shifted to Chandanagar, right? And from Chandanagar to, you know, he travelled to Pondicherry. So, maybe, you know, like because uh, he, he, he wanted to concentrate more and more in uh, spirituality, yoga and all. So, that can, that can be one of the reasons, you know. Uh, uh, sorry? Integral yoga. Yeah, integral yoga, yes. That's not the yoga which he used to talk. So, his yoga is quite different than the other yoga.